The White House responds about carrier unlocks. Finally, some additional leaks of the Galaxy S4, and Microsoft's jobs posting hits to a next Windows Phone OS. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I'm caffeine fee for the last three hours. This is Pocket Now Daily. The White House has just sent out a clear message that does a great job at starting our week. Let's legalize carrier unlocks. After the petition was signed a couple of weeks ago and then the FCC chairman confirmed last week that it was important to have a look at it, well now the White House has confirmed that they'll figure out a way to make it legal. Obviously, we can't confirm as that'll take a couple of weeks, a couple of days. It could happen in a couple of months, probably a year. But what's important is that obviously the battle has begun and the White House is at our side. We'll see. Now let's talk about Microsoft and Windows Phone. New rumors have the company working on three different upgrades to Windows Phone coming soon, but two of these are actually just minor upgrades. The last one is actually Windows Phone Blue, which is the code name for the next version of the operating system, though we don't know if that's gonna be 8.5, 8.1, or whatever. Now the first one of these minor upgrades is gonna happen in May, according to some leaks, but other new rumors on a job posting state that the final version, which is code name Blue, will happen in the fall or the holiday season. Season. And just for the record, I mean, it happens every year. It's just great to see that Microsoft is not announcing something now for it to be launched by the end of the year. We'll keep you posted. Now let's talk about Samsung. Those of you who joined me in liking the Galaxy Note 8 that we saw at MWC 2013, well, we only saw it in white at the trade show, but the interesting news is that new leaks have a black version coming out soon of the Galaxy Note 8. Though we obviously need the white one to come out first, but the point being is that apparently this comes in matte color and not really the shiny white that we saw at MWC. So it's interesting to see what Samsung brings to the table, but obviously we'll keep you posted that we have no dates just yet for either one of these versions, at least not specific. And for those of you who thought that bypassing the lock screen only happened on iOS devices, well, think again. New reports prove that it's also happening on Samsung Galaxy devices all Samsung Galaxy devices and it, apparently all you have to do is go into the emergency dialer and after a couple of tweaks you'll figure out a way to get into the device without obviously punching in the lock code and accessing certain aspects of the device at least for a limited time. It's hard to know when Samsung will fix this because we do know that upgrades to the Galaxy lineup in most cases depend on carriers so just stay tuned and for now don't lend your phones to anybody. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, can you believe we finally have some Galaxy S4 leaks? Believe it or not, this company has done a fabulous job at keeping their device a secret, but now we do have some reports that the company has been working on a new eye-controlling technology that will allow you to scroll with your eyes. Uh, yeah, you can currently use Smart Stay to leave the display on, but we kind of wonder what you're going to do by controlling your device with your eyes, aside from getting a headache. But that leads me to the question of the day. Aside from eye scrolling, what else would you do with eye controlling software? Or what else would you like for Samsung to bring to the next Galaxy S4 with your eyes? In my particular case, as with a lot of things in the Galaxy lineup, a lot of them are gimmicks, but leave us a comment down below. What would you want? Of course, if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and top of the world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.